Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Nathaniel, this is First Impression. Now, I've been having this dream lately of owning a gaming mouse uh, and I've just got it uh, a few weeks ago and I've been using it so thoroughly and I decided to get this, the Logitech G703. So we're, today we're gonna take a look at this and see what I have to think about it because I heard that the G703 is a, it's a good mouse, it's a good gaming mouse for the money. So uh, I've been using this mouse for a couple of weeks now and I've I've gotta say it's pretty good, it's pretty good. Uh, now, if you buy brand new, which costs $99 by the way, this is the box that came with it, the G703. I must say the printing is very nice. And uh, in the back you have uh, more spec sheets and you have technical specifications. And down here you have the, your, your code name or serial number. I must say that Logitech needs to up their game on the, the, the packaging because the packaging is so mediocre for a $99 product because what you get is this. I mean, this is like this is like a Chinese knockoff for Christ's sake. I mean, uh, blue, very tacky, and I think they need a really, I, I think they need to revamp their uh, their packaging lineup because you know you're paying $99 and you get this type of packaging and you know. It's a pretty expensive mouse, to be honest. But anyway, that's the packaging that you're gonna get, the G703. Now let's get to the product. Now, this is the Logitech G703. One of the reasons why I chose this instead of the, the uh, top of the line mouse, which is the G903, is because of the ambidextrous design. Now, I'm a right-handed person, so this fits me very, very well, ergonomically speaking. I think for a gaming mouse, this is a very, very good mouse to hold. Uh, and the design itself, I mean, the design is much more laid back, I guess, it's much more simple, it's much more contemporary, it's much more modern, to be honest. I mean, the G903 is a very, very good mouse. The spec is not so different from this one, but uh, the G903, you know, it, it seems like a transformer robot. You know, you're, you're, you're holding a transformer robot in your hand and, you know, it's an ambidextrous design. It's good for a left-handed person, of course. But if you really want the G903, I have no other criticism at all. Uh, get the G903 if you want the G903, but the G703 is a very good uh, value for its money. I mean, uh, you get a very good design, you've got the, uh, a similar spec to the G903, which is very, very nice. Now, the G703 comes with uh, this on the box. It comes with the uh, USB cable, if you wanna uh, do the old style, and uh, with no means, there's no latency at all. I mean, uh, one of the reasons why I choose the G703 is because there's very, very less latency uh, when you're hooking it up uh, via the uh, Bluetooth uh, dongle here. What, did, what do you call it? The Bluetooth receiver, the Bluetooth receiver. Uh, so, it, you know, you're, you're not getting, you know, you're not getting uh, less performance with Bluetooth or USB. It's all, all the same. And you have the extension uh, receiver here. So what you can do here is you can uh, plug in the Bluetooth receiver here and you can plug it in uh, like so. So if you have a CPU that is far away from your monitor or your gaming station, you can actually just you know extend the the uh, the Bluetooth receiver. So you can just put it on the side here, and you can game uh, very very nicely. Now, uh, one of the thing that caught my attention is the shape of the USB uh, micro USB here. Uh, now the micro USB here, you can attach it to the uh, to the mouse itself if you wish to have a cable mouse. And what I like about this is they put attention to detail on the shape of the US micro USB because this actually holds the whole structure together. So you're not, you know, in the middle of a hardcore gaming session, you're not gonna lose balance or something. You know, this will stay still. And it's, it, I think it's a very good purpose to, to have that design here. Now, one of the reasons why I like the G703 is because of the LED RGB light. Now, I know most of you probably, you know, RGB lights is not that, why won't you buy a gaming mouse for an RGB light? Now, I'm a sucker for RGB lights, and as you can see, there's a nano leaf behind there, and I love LED, I really love LED. Yeah, pan the camera there. <laughs> because I love RGB lights, so RGB lights has become a very, very good feature, uh, especially on this G703, because 
it doesn't only light up the Logitech logo here, it lights up the scroll here, the scroll buttons here, which is, I think is a very, very nice uh, thing. Now I, I put purple on there because I love purple. Logitech G703 uh, also works with an app. Uh, so you can download an app called Logitech Gaming Software and you can actually set the DPI, you can set all of the settings that you like, you can set the shortcut buttons as you wish from the app. Now, uh, before I get into the app, I just want to uh, show you all the features here. Now, the feet, now, okay, the G703 comes with this optional 10 gram weight. Uh, so if you want a, a little bit of weight on your mouse, which I prefer anyway, you can actually pop this in and uh, pops in uh, magnetically and it just latches uh, in the bottom here. Now, what I don't understand from Logitech is why they can, if they can make a hatch like this, why can't they, uh, you know, make something to store the uh, Bluetooth receiver? Because, you know, the Bluetooth receiver is this small and if it's lost, then, you know, you gotta go back to the store and you're gonna find a Bluetooth receiver. If you find it on Amazon, it'll cost you uh, probably uh, $10 or so, but uh, they need to put uh, a compartment here to actually store the Bluetooth receiver. So, you know, if you're traveling like me and you want a decent gaming mouse like this, and you can just carry it without any, you know, without any afterthoughts or something. If you lost it, you know, something like that. So uh, that's the feature. You have your DPI setting button here. So you can uh, very, 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 not, I mean, it's, it's a very fast method to actually change the DPI here and it's a very good button too, it's very clicky. So you can change the DPI, I believe there's four options or three options, I think there's four options. But uh, for now I just set it to, to about 20, uh, about, I'll check, I'll, I'll check what DPI I'm using. Uh, and you have your two shortcut buttons here, uh, on the side here if you're playing uh, MMO or something and you have a very very good feeling on the clicks i mean check that out very soft very gentle uh, and it's very very comfortable too i mean i really really love this mouse because one of the reasons why i love this mouse is because the the surface of the mouse itself is matte finish so you get this this very very good feeling when you're actually gaming for a very long time and it's ergonomically pleasing and comfortable too now uh, enough with the product. Now let's uh, let's show you the app. Okay. So what you can do is you can install the uh, Logitech app here. Uh, it's called Logitech Gaming Software, which you can actually customize your mouse. So if you can uh, just uh, take a look at here. Now, this is the Logitech gaming mouse, uh, gaming software. So what you can do here is actually set the DPI sensitivity, sensitivity levels. Now I have mine on 4,000 DPI's. So I'll just switch the DPI. There you go. If you can, if you see, uh, I just put the DPI, uh, I just press the DPI buttons here and you can see how it changes slightly. And uh, it goes all over to 12,000 DPI. So, um, no problem there and you can customize your uh, to your own liking what kind of left mouse you want right click I mean who might want to change that I don't know if you're left-handed probably uh, and you have the middle click buttons here and you also can uh, change the shortcut buttons here and what I like about it is if somebody is borrowing your mouse or uh, if your sister or brother is borrowing your mouse for different usage. Probably they're not a gamer, but they want to use your mouse. You can set a profile here. You can have profile two, profile three, and you can just set up all you like. Now, I don't really uh, have someone to actually use my mouse, so I just set it up to profile one. And well, the reason why I get this, as I said earlier, is the RGB lights. Now, you can actually customize the RGB lights here, which has an abundance of customization options. You can turn off the logo, uh, logo uh, RGB lights here and it turns off. And you can turn off the scroll wheel here, here, which turns off too. But I'd like to keep my RGB lights on. It decreases battery life, but you know, I don't really care. It's aesthetically pleasing, so. Um, you have a three option for a lightning effect. You have color cycle, so it cycles through different colors. It breathes through different colors, which is nice. 
You also have breathing effects. Uh, like, uh, yeah, it goes, it goes, it goes something like this. Okay, it just, you know, it's like breathing. It's like, you know, it's aesthetic. Okay, it's aesthetic functions. Okay, but I have mine on fixed colors. And you have different colors here that you can actually customize. You can arrange your own customization colors and you can change to uh, blue, purple, green, white, whatever you fancy really. I mean, it's just your personal preferences. I put mine on uh, purple here. Uh, and you can change, uh, you can check your battery lives. So uh, there you go, you have 66%, 14 hours remaining. And it lasts for a very, very long time. I mean, I game, uh, I game with this for about two days and still haven't run out yet. So 66% um, is very nice. Uh, you can just charge it uh, on the go with your power bank or something. Um, now, you have uh, presets, you have lights off. If, if, if you have lights off, it will show you that you have 22 hours remaining here, which is great. It'll show you different stats and stuff here and you can you know, expect to see. Um, and you also have this. You can actually uh, combine this with the Logitech uh, gaming mouse pad, which is the new gaming mouse pad, which uh, lets you charge this uh, every time you put the, the, the mouse on the pad. Uh, so you can actually charge this while you're gaming. So theoretic theoretically, you don't have to actually, you know, charge your mouse ever again. Uh, and yeah, that's the gaming software, I guess. I don't use it much, uh, but I just use it to, you know, to set my DPI if I want to play another game that, that, that is quite intensive, like FPS, I usually want a higher DPI, so I can just set it here, which is great. Now. Uh, that's about the mouse, that's about the app. Now we're gonna test it on a game that you guys probably would love. It's uh, Overwatch. So we're just gonna boot this up and we're just gonna see how well the mouse performs. So I have Overwatch booted up here and we're gonna do a little bit of practice range session uh, to test what's the capability of this mouse is. So I have uh, put the uh, the shortcut button for the melee here. So as you can see, you can easily melee with these buttons over here. And I set the DPI up to 4000 and I can just change the DPI uh, smoothly with this button in the middle here. Uh, I prefer 4000. And you can just melee a person very, very easily. and. Oh god, <laughs> what am I doing? <laughs> anyway, this is a practice session, so please. Uh, anyway, it's very, very easy. Uh, you have your second attack button here, and everything just runs so smoothly. I mean, you can adjust on the go, nothing to hassle there, and for performance-wise, it's very, very nice. I mean, it works very, very intuitively, uh, and it's very comfortable, the clicking are very, very comfortable. And for a ga long gaming session, I think it's a very, very reputable mouse to actually own, even though it costs 99 bucks. Uh, so it runs very smoothly. And if you're wondering, yes, I'm playing Overwatch on MacBook Pro. It runs very, very well, uh, 50 FPS constant, really. And yes, uh, very, very nice mouse. So this is uh, just a quick uh, test session. If you're wondering of how the mouse performs, this is how the mouse performs. And you can set your shortcut buttons. Uh, it's very, very nice. Uh, and it's just, it's just a bless to actually use this mouse as a gaming mouse. So this has been a very, very great uh, sharing session. If you decide to get the G703, don't hesitate because it's a very, very good mouse. If you want the top of the line, the latest, the greatest, the best, then get the G903. I, you know, I have no preferences, but uh, I do love the G703 more because of n the design, of not the ambidextrous design, uh, and it fits very, very well on the palm of my hands. And I love the RGB lights anyway. So uh, there you go. If you decide to 
get on your next gaming session, please do so with this mouse. Uh, it's a very, very good mouse. As always, this is the first impression. I'm Nathaniel. Shining out and have a great gaming session.